This Ask Dr. Drury is about the COVID-19 infection. This is a frequently asked uh, question uh, number two. And this question relates to what does a myeloma patient need to know about COVID-19 infection? Well, it is a novel coronavirus which uh, emerged out of China, out of the city of Wuhan in December of 2019, hence the name D19. This ref refers to December uh, 19. It is a virus which is highly infectious. Uh, it's, it's felt that it may be even four or five times more infectious than the regular influenza virus. It is uh, a type of virus that is uh, spread by someone who is infected coughing or sneezing into the air. These droplets which contain the virus can be suspended in the air for a period of time depending upon the conditions of the air. Uh, and this can be uh, for periods uh, of uh, 30 minutes, even for a few hours depending upon uh, the circumstances. These droplets can also land on surfaces, and on the surfaces, uh, the virus can survive and persist uh, for a number of hours, even as long as several days. On uh, some surfaces, uh, such as uh, metal and plastic, uh, the survival can be uh, longer into one, two, three days. Uh, for other surfaces, like cardboard, uh, much uh, shorter uh, survival. And so this is a virus that it is important uh, to avoid. It is important to be aware that increasingly we understand that individuals who are not showing symptoms can actually pass on the virus. In a study out of Iceland screening uh, the population, uh, they noted that approximately half of the individuals who tested positive had no symptoms. And so if there is any uh, contact with other individuals, just be aware that you should consider that that individual could possibly have infection and use uh, physical distancing and uh, be, be cautious related to use of masks. If, if they are available, I recommend uh, using masks. And so the bottom line in terms of knowing about this virus is that it is one uh, that is highly infectious. Uh, it is one that should be avoided if at all possible, and uh, one uh, for which uh, we are facing many challenges, and it does have uh, a lot of implications for the day-to-day -day management of uh, myeloma.